All right, guys, we just made it to the launch and stepped out of the truck and I was like, I hope I have a jacket inside of my truck. It is cold this morning, guys. It's about 55 degrees, but we got a 15 mile per hour north wind right now. So the wind chill, it's a little bit cool outside, but just made it to the launch. Got the kayak right there. And uh, today we're gonna go after some redfish, speckled trout, and anything in between, guys. Uh, it's gonna be a good day. Haven't fished this area in a very long time, so I'm looking forward to it. But today's video is also sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. We'll get into that later on in the video, but let's not waste too much time. It's already about eight o'clock, so getting a little bit of a late start this morning, but I still think we'll catch some good fish. Let's get the kayak in the water and let's get to fishing. I just love whenever my rudder sticks and I have to get on the back of my kayak and almost fall in. Ugh, there we go. This is not ideal, guys. Woo! We do not want to start the day soaking wet. There we go. Let's see if that, there we go. All right, let's put in the drive. All right, before we get into today's video, today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Mystery Tackle Box is like Christmas every single month, guys. Y'all get a brand new box of lures, and not only that, y'all can customize your box. So whether you're doing inshore, saltwater fishing, or uh, you know, going fishing, freshwater ponds, bass fishing, you can customize your own box to your specific needs and get that delivered to your doorsteps every single month, okay? And not only that, it's 40% cheaper getting it through Mystery Tackle Box than going to your local retail store for tackle or whatever, okay? So Mystery Tackle Box, a great way to get that delivered to your doorsteps. It's very convenient. Not only that, if y'all are new to throwing lures or artificial lures, um, this is a great way to really dip your toes in the water and uh, get that experience throwing lures. You know, just a couple years ago, I never touched an artificial lure, was had no confidence in throwing lures, but today I love throwing lures, okay? So uh, it's definitely a great skill to have in your arsenal whenever it comes to fishing, and this right here will help you out. So if you guys are just now starting out, if y'all have already started throwing lures, this is still a great way to just try a variety of different ways, uh, artificial wise, to catch fish. Tons of different stuff. We got the Shimmer Shad. That right there is speckled trout candy. We got a big giant jerk bait. I know for a fact this will catch redfish, big trout, and it feels heavy too, which is actually pretty good considering how windy it is today. This is gonna, I think this might be the, the key, but also, Twitch Reaper Savage Gear. You guys get main brands. Savage Gear is a really great, uh, great lure brand. We got Excite Shads, once again, perfect resemblance of a mullet. And we got some Steel Leader. I'm not really a fan of Steel Leader, but there's always a purpose. You know, maybe we'll see some Spanish mackerel and uh, if we can catch a live bait, put that guy out behind the kayak, boom. And last but not least, we got some Jig Heads that are going to be used with our excite shads the ones that i just showed y'all right there so got this to pair with the um little swim baits and that is it guys we got a lot of different baits mystery tackle box is allowing my viewers to get ten dollars off your first box to your choosing like i said they do tons of different boxes so y'all don't necessarily have to get this one um i would imagine most of y'all will get this one but ten dollars off your very first box using the code kavartech and uh i'll link that down in the description below y'all do me a favor go check out mystery tackle box it greatly helps me out and they're helping out the channel so go check them out link in the description below let's get to fishing guys 
All right, we have a nice little cut right here that we're fixing a jig. There he is. Got him that time. There we go. There we go. Nice little speckled boy. Nice. Get in the boat, baby. There we go. Solid little trout. He thumped it. He thumped it. All right. On the excite shad, baby. There we go, guys. Nice speckled trout. All right. Good fish right there. All right. First fish right there. Nice little speckled trout. Beautiful guy. Tell y'all what, the water up in these canals is warm. So I have a feeling that's where we're gonna catch the majority of the fish today. But uh, Excite Shad, beautiful speckled trout, man. He thumped it really good too. All right. Let's get this guy measured up real quick. Easy, Bubba. I'm gonna say he's 14. 14 inches on the dot. All right, first speckled trout, guys. Going back. There we go. All right, first trout of the day. Let's try to catch a 20 incher today. That would be awesome. If we can catch a 20 inch trout, that would make the day. But uh, first fish of the day, good to see something biting. Let's keep pushing up and catching some fish, guys. There he is. Good fish, guys. Good fish. What is this, man? If this is a trout, guys, this is going to be a decent trout. Oh, yeah. Decent trout. Decent trout. I think he'll make 15. There we go, guys. Boom! There we go. All right, I'm trying to stay a little bit quiet because I don't want to talk too loud and these fish get blown out of here. Chill, buddy. Chill, chill, chill. There we go, baby. On the Excite Shad. Let's go ahead and wet my hands real quick. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a nice, fat male trout right there, guys. Nice, fat male trout. Let's get a quick measurement of this guy. Once again, right at 14 inches, man. Right at 14. Not the big one that we want, but hey, these things are so much fun to catch. See you, bub. Especially whenever you feel that thump. All right. Let's go ahead and make another cast. That was the first cast that I made at this canal entrance right here. So I'm thinking there's going to be some more fish stacked up right there, guys. But once again, the Excite Shad did it. Let's make another cast right there. There's got to be a bigger fish in there. That's a good bite right there, man. That was a good bite. This is a better trout, 100% better trout. Oh no, he came off, man. That was a good fish. Oh my God, that was a good trout, guys. That was a really good trout. By far the heaviest fish of the day. Okay, I think we're on a nice little, nice little trout hole right here. There he is. That's a nice trout. Oh yeah, better trout, better trout, better trout. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. He's skinny. Dang, he's skinny. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Nice. That is a skinny trout right there, guys. Once again, Sight shad doing work. Let's get a quick measurement on him. Still 14 inches, man. All at 14. That one that I hooked though, that was that was 100% a keeper trout. That one that got away was uh that was a good fish, but man, that that trout smoked it right there. Dang, he smoked it. All right. There he is. 
Better fish, better fish. Nice trout, nice trout. I think that's a keeper. Oh yeah, good trout guys, I think. There we go, there we go. Get in the boat, that's a keeper, that's a keeper. Nice, there we go, boom. I think he'll make 15, folks. I think he'll make 15. All right, about the fifth or sixth trout right there. Guys, this bait is actually killing them today. And uh, back to my point, whenever I was talking about the mystery tackle box, I've never used a jig head like that. One good benefit of that jig head is that you can rig it weedless and you can fish that bottom without having to worry about snags and all that. Let's get a quick measurement. <sighs> all right, he is right at 15 inches right at 15 inches guys um trying to figure out what i want to do if i want to keep him or let him go mm. i'm gonna let him go guys i think we can catch one that's bigger but uh just a beautiful speckled trout he's ready to go let's get him back in the water man beautiful fish See ya, bub. All right, here we go, guys. Best fish of the day so far. And uh, this Excite Shad is doing work. Tell y'all what, I'm gonna catch a couple more fish with this Excite Shad, and then I'm gonna switch to that Shimmer Shad, and I'm gonna see what that thing can catch, because that thing also looks really effective for this type of scenario, so. All right, let's go ahead and keep fishing, guys. All right, that fish was right at 15, but I don't want to risk it, man. Tell y'all what, I would rather catch one that's like 15 and a half or 16. All right, we're gonna make a switch real quick, guys. And y'all check out how freaking awesome these little baits look, man. That is, that just looks phenomenal. So we're gonna use this thing and uh, see if we can't catch a fish on it the freaking look of this bait man that looks that looks so awesome to be honest it has so much flash to it as well and uh, this water up in this canal is a little bit more murkier than the water out there so i'm thinking this flash is gonna entice these trout but uh see if we can't catch a fish on this thing man there he is good fish i think there we go nice trout guys oh yes oh yeah on the shimmer shad baby that's a keeper oh yeah good good trout good trout good trout baby come on get in the boat he's all wrapped up <laughs> there we go that's a that's a keeper guys that's got to be a keeper on the shimmer shad baby <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Woo! All right, well, the biggest fish of the day, 100%, has came off of that shimmer shad right there, man. And let me tell you something. The one thing about this shimmer shad, what I'm doing a little bit differently is you're having to work it a little bit more slower and you're more so working it like you would work a Ned rig. Um, it has that little tail, that just constant action. And uh, man, that is a nice trout. Let's go ahead and get a quick measurement. I think this might be the first keeper of the day let's go ahead and get that shimmer shad y'all check that out man that action on that tail is a uh, freaking sweet let's go ahead and get a measurement all right so that is a keeper trout he's a little bit over 15 um a little bit bigger than that other one that i caught but he's gonna be a keeper we're gonna go ahead and keep him and uh put him on the stringer man a little bit more comfortable keeping this guy but that's a male trout so i know i'm not going to be taking a pregnant female and uh yeah awesome fish right there man off the shimmer shad baby let's go ahead and put this guy on the stringer and let's catch some more there he is there's a fish that's a trout baby there we go off the shimmer man <laughs> that's another good one he might be the second keeper right there man let's go let's get him in the boat there we go 
nice off the shimmer shad baby boom all right let's get a quick measurement a little bit over 14 not quite a keeper still fun to catch man this is a blast all right that is going to wrap up the video today you know i've only fished this area one other time in a kayak and uh, all in all caught some nice fish you know we caught a nice keeper trout lost a nice keeper trout and caught probably i don't know probably seven or eight more trout that were right at a keeper and right below a keeper so all in all a good day guys had a lot of good action and uh you know beautiful weather and yeah so that is going to be the video i hope you guys did enjoy the action you know it's pretty cool coming out here and throwing some different types of lubers that you're not really used to throwing and uh, catching some fish on them you know it's really cool as i said earlier y'all be sure to go check out mystery tackle box i'll link that down below like i said you guys get ten dollars off your very first box if y'all do decide y'all want to try it out as always i do appreciate y'all tuning in don't forget to leave a like if you guys did enjoy the youtube video as well as subscribe if y'all are new also be sure to leave a comment what are you guys catching where y'all from um, i love being able to talk to you guys and like figure out where y'all are at in this country or world and uh, it's pretty cool so leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys are catching and where are you guys from so that's it tight lines set them and net them guys